Your brain, the cortic region of your brain, which is responsible for decision-making, attention, alertness, self-control, that sucker is still in a sleep cycle. And now that you're awake, it's gonna take the cortical region almost four hours to actually snap out of that sleep cycle. That's why you feel groggy. It's because the part of your brain that's responsible for critical thinking and being alert, it's actually still asleep. If you don't already do this, you've got to train yourself to be the kind of person that doesn't use the snooze alarm. Because when you hit the snooze alarm, you're not only putting your brain in a state of sleep inertia, you are directly impacting your productivity, your alertness, and your brain processing for the first four hours that you're awake. That's making life harder. I'm all about making life easier. So tomorrow, when the alarm goes off, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care how much you don't wanna get out of bed, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember that you've gotta wake up and give your brain its best shot to do its best work. And the way you're gonna do it is five, four, three, two, one, turn off that alarm and get up. Seize the day and go be productive. As soon as I wake up, I immediately try to think of something I'm grateful for, which everybody knows that and thinks about it, but I've, I play this game myself on how far I can lower the bar, meaning I, I tried to do a gratitude journal about three years ago, and after about five weeks, I ran out of stuff to say. I'm not talking about a half hour gratitude meditation. I just need one little thing, or I pick up a book, if I'm reading one of the books that you have on the shelf, I'll pick and I'll just pick three sentences and read something empowering, and I'll get that state of mind from my brain. And then I think about one win I had the day before. Because I know as entrepreneurs, as somebody searching for success, we never give ourselves credit. We never treat a friend the way we treat ourselves. It's like, I know I've had days I've gone till 10 o'clock at night, and I'm like, I got nothing done today. It's the biggest lie, like we beat ourselves up, we just were, were like these racehorses. We wouldn't even treat a racehorse that we owned as bad as we treat ourselves, right? So I wake up and I'll, I'll do a quick little gratitude and I'll say, what was one win yesterday that I accomplished? And I'm like, wow, you did do that yesterday. And then I'll think of one win I wanna do that day. Like what, I'm gonna need a million things done today, but what's a must today that would be a great win? Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. You're gonna have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die. At the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. The problem is, you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. Well, sometimes, your greatest pain, it ain't even about you. It's about a greater purpose. That if you can find a way to push through, that if you can find a way to not make it about you, learn, learn to appreciate the occasional storms that come in your life. Just learn to appreciate how small they are, the occasional storms that come every day. And then that's the ingredient of how you really deal with pain, figuring that out.